Now this is what it looks like when you have a bunch of other hotspots next to you, right around 21, 22 witnesses. You can also see that it was degraded a little bit, quite a few hotspots all around this one. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's Promo, and today I'm going to show you guys how you'd be able to fix your relayed helium hotspot. Now if you're taking a look at your hotspot and you notice this portion right here where it says relayed, this is how you're able to fix it. So first off, if you want to learn more about relayed, just tap on the word relayed. So in here, all it mentions is that hotspots connection is being relayed through another hotspot on the network, which may affect mining. To take a hotspot out of relay, please visit the troubleshooting guide. So all you have to do is tap right here called troubleshooting guide. Now this link that it took me to, I will be placing it below the video inside of the description if you guys would like to go directly to this without going through the application so you can read everything. But really we're going to number three. Number one and number two is just making sure you have your, your cables connected, you have a good internet connection. But this is where if you know that you are connected to the internet, it should be working. Maybe there's a firewall or something going on. Uh, it, sta it states here that internet works and cannot connect to the Helium network or hotspot is being relayed. So right here, you can see that mine is working, but it is being relayed. And so when you go through this, really the most important things is that they recommend enabling this the TCP ports 44, 58 in both directions in your modem. And so there's a lot of different ways you can do this depending on the router and the manufacturing and who you're using for your internet provider. So I use Google Fiber, so this will be the steps for Google Fiber, but you will see something similar to this if you use anything else, but more than likely you'll be doing this on your computer or laptop and, and you'll be able to get started with everything just by clicking this link here as well. So really the most important thing is opening up both directions for the port 44158. So all I'm gonna do is instead of doing this on my computer, I have Google Fiber, so it makes it really simple. I'm gonna open up Google Fiber. Then once inside of here, I'm gonna go to network settings. And then inside of network settings, you go to advanced settings and this is where you go to ports. So once you tap on ports, this is where you want to add in a new rule. Now inside of here on the very top, you just want to select your device, the Helium hotspot that is connected on that Wi-Fi. And I'm going to go right inside of here and I'm going to do single port. So the external and internal port. So I'm going to do 44158. I'm going to do it one more time here. 44. 158. Now I'm going to leave this one here as the, the TCP and UDP, and then you just hit on save, and then you hit on save one more time. So once you confirm that you created that little uh, rule, then you'll be able to hopefully notice that your hotspot is now not being relayed anymore. Now that everything is saved and inputted, now you can go back inside of your Helium application just to see if it does still work. And there is one thing I'll also show you. So if you notice that it doesn't work, then you could try one more other thing as well. Now, sometimes it'll show up instantly right away within the first minute or two. I did give mine about five or 10 minutes. I went upstairs, did a fast errand. So let's go right back inside of the Helium application just to make sure uh, that it is now now not showing the uh, relay. So as you guys can see, this is the same hotspot. I mean, the rewards and everything is all the exact same. I put it right back onto the past seven days. Obviously up here, it's probably gonna be blurred out or blacked out, uh, but you can see here we're still online and we do not have our relayed status anymore. Again, you can still get rewards if you are relayed. It just happens to be that this is like the full hotspot doing all of its thing. It's not getting support or assistance from anybody else. And you can see that this one here at this location is relayed, so I will have to go through and do the exact same fix over there. Now, if you're curious on how you would do, if it's only you and you yourself, nobody else around you, you are a lone wolf. These are the helium rewards you would get daily. Luckily, I was part of a consensus group where uh, soon that'll actually go away when validators come online, but I was able to be a part of a consensus group and that was where I got most of these. So if you are by yourself, one thing to look forward to, even though it's completely random, it is by chance to be a part of it. But if you're by yourself and you're not really carrying too much of a workload with a bunch of witnesses around you, you do have a higher chance as being a part of a consensus group. Now, one thing I also do wanna show you is you saw what it looks like if you're one all by yourself. Now, this is what it looks like when you have a bunch of other hotspots next to you, right around 21, 22 witnesses. You can also see that it was degraded a little bit, quite a few hotspots all around this one but this one is still performing fantastic so in the last 24 hours this one has done nine helium for the last seven days you can see that we got seven uh four almost four and a half we got five seven four and a half almost 
uh, almost six and a half here is 9.2. So really it kind of depends on where you're located, how many is around you. Even though you could be degraded, you can still be earning quite a bit if there is a bunch of other different witnesses around you, even though you know you can see that it has been brought down quite a bit. When you do take a look at some of these, these earnings, you can be at the full one re reward, or you could be down at like 0 0.8, 0 0.76, 0 0.5, things like that. I did actually have two hotspots near each other that degraded both of them. I was just trying to move it to a closer neighbor and I just wanted to see what would happen and it degraded both of them. It went down to 0.5. And if you're curious on what would happen if you move it and how long it would take, it took about seven hours or six hours, which that time can vary, but you have to go through about 2,500 blocks in order for it to reset going back to what, you know, basically what it needs to be so it's it's relooking making sure that uh you know whatever you should be earning is what you're earning so it kind of double checks everything every 2500 blocks that's when it updates you so maybe even soon in a couple more hours or seven hours if there's more and more being closer and closer this might go down even a little bit more but then that adds another witness which could also bring more proof of coverage more witnessing things like that so even though this may go down even more just a little bit it can still keep earning these numbers that we still see here. But that was it. I wanted to go back into the original topic of today's video, which is if you are relayed, how can you fix it? This is how you're able to fix it. Also too, I will be placing the link below the video inside the description if you guys want to read more and really troubleshoot it on your own, because maybe some of you are not using Google Fiber. Um, but outside of that, if you guys are curious in which hotspots are the best ones to buy right now at this moment, there is a chip shortage. The ones I highly suggest are listed and linked below, which is buy Bobcat and Synchrobit. Both of those have stock right now. Uh, Nebra has halted sales for the last month. And then we also have Calchip, the rack hotspot miners are also basically halted as well. It's maybe about 250 of them being sold a day, but you have to sign up for it and hopefully you're chosen. So those are the two I highly suggest is going to be Bobcat and Synchrobit as of right now. But I'll update you guys later on whenever the rest of them do come back online with their sales, which is Nebra and Calchip for the rack hotspots. But I hope you guys appreciated this video. It was fairly simple didn't take long at all yours could be fixed in either one minute or it could take up to five to ten minutes just give it a minute let it do its thing and then you're really good to go but if you guys appreciated this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later